everyone. So the first thing that I've already done is prime my face with the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Primer. I love this primer so much. It really fills in my pores and doesn't make me greasy or anything like that. Next, I'm going to use the Revlon Color Save Whipped Foundation. My color is right now 321 Warm Golden. I also do use 330 True Beige um, more into the summertime as well when I get a little bit more color. And I just kind of dot this all over my face and then I'm going to use the Real Techniques Stippling Brush to blend this all over my skin. I love this foundation for the summertime because with one layer it's not super super full coverage so you're not going to have a cakey face but it does even out your skin tone, it lasts all day and it does really control my shine. And as you've noticed I do use the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation a ton as well, I love that foundation so much but I have noticed if any sort of liquid gets on it like any water or anything it does kind of run down your face a little bit so for the summertime just to be safe I go with this one. Next, I'm going to put some eye drops in my eyes. I usually do this before my makeup in general. I just kind of forgot, so I just put that in there so I, my eyes are clear whenever I start doing my eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to use the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Concealer. This one is the actual corrector shade. I also have light medium. I love them both equally. Um, this one just is a little bit more brightening for under the eye area. And as you guys can see right here, it covers so well. It really does give that kind of like Kardashian highlight under your eye and as you know I love concealer and I have really bad under eye circles this as you'll see in this video is the only concealer and the only time I put this on this whole video because it works that well and does the trick so I really recommend this concealer also I put this on any little blemishes I have but I also use the Sonia Kasha quad which is this right here and this is just a thicker formula so it kind of holds in place more and it's not super moisturizing like the Olay one so I like to put this over my blemishes Next, I'm going to go straight to bronzer and blush. This is a Milani Bellissimo Bronze. It's kind of like a bronzer, a little bit of a blush. It's called a blush, but it's kind of more of a bronzy orange color. And taking a fluffy powder brush, just going to put this in the hollows of my cheeks. Not doing any specific contouring today, just kind of giving my face a nice natural tan, a little bit of a glow, and some sheen. I'm also going to be using the blush Coralina. This one right here has a little bit more of a corally red tint. This is just going to give some color to the face, kind of liven up the face a little bit, and also give that sun-kissed look to the skin. I love these blushes so much because they have that glitter um, in there already, so it already is going to make you glow and just give that really fresh, dewy face. But I also do have the Revlon Color Save Whip Foundation on, so it is going to keep me matte still. Next, just to add something on the eye, I'm not doing anything crazy, literally just the color tattoo from Maybelline. This is in the color Barely Branded. Just going to wipe this all over the lid, all the way up to the brow bone area, just to give a nice highlight under my eye, or over my eye, I should say, just to kind of wake up the eyes a little bit, open them up, and that's really it for my eyeshadow. Just keeping it natural. I love it because those are waterproof to me, and they do not settle on my creases. Next, I'm going to tight line a little bit. This is just going to go right above my waterline, if that makes sense. And if you have any, now I'm sharpening it because it hurt my eye a little bit. If you have any problems doing this, I know it tickles sometimes doing your waterline, just close your eyes together and then rub it in and you won't even feel it at all. That's the way that I do it. Zooming in so you can see a little bit better. I do a small, small, small wing just to kind of, again, open up my eyes. And by doing this trick, just the outer V part, it is going to open your eyes, make them appear larger and more awake as well. This uh, eyeliner finance is from Nordstrom. I don't really like it, but I'm using it up. I'm almost done, so it works. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes because when I am not wearing a lot of mascara or any mascara, I do want to at least curl them so they have some shape and they still kind of frame the eye area. Next, I'm going to be taking a clear mascara because or the Shocking Telesop mascara if you want to do that as well. But I'm going to take the clear one first because um, I don't really like waterproof mascara. I just I just don't like it. So I put this on and it kind of just coats them just to give them a little bit something more. This way you don't have to worry about if you're going in the pool, if you're going to have like raccoon eyes or anything like that. I really like this, but um, as you can see here, it doesn't really volumize like crazy or do anything special for the lashes. So I am going to go over with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Now, if I was going to the pool, I would be wearing a waterproof mascara. I honestly just don't own any at the moment. I'm probably going to pick one up and just deal with it because I do like the look of mascara when you have like a neutral eye going on.
Next, I want to add a little bit more highlight to my face. I'm going to use the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips and the Bronze Kind, and I'm just going to put this at the top of my cheekbones. Also, I'm going to put it down the center of my nose, and I'm going to hit my Cupid's bow, just giving a little bit more glow and summer sun-kissed look to the skin as well. Now I'm going to be searching for some lipstick. I don't know if this is what you guys do when you're looking for lipstick, but this is what I do every day. <laughs> I don't know if that does anything. I just literally hold it up to my mouth. So I'm going with this Essence. This is in Sparkling Papaya. These are super inexpensive. I've talked about this so much. I love these. Um, but for this look, this is kind of like a coral shade, but it almost looked like I like sucked on a popsicle, so I wanted a little bit more of a pinky lavender tone, so I picked up the Shading Cosmetics in the color 09. Again, this is just more a little bit pinky, and I just thought that that looked better with this whole look. That's pretty much it for the makeup. So now, just really quickly, this isn't really part of the whole makeup area, but this is what I do with my hair if I'm going to be going to the beach or just kind of keeping it natural that day. My hair is naturally curly, so I just like to tame it with a couple shine and frizz sprays. So the first one was just a shine spray that has argon oil in it. The next was a generic spray, and this is a heat protectant from Silk Elements. I will list all the products down below if I am going too fast, so you can check them out as well. Then I'm going to use a new me shine serum. I got this in my first Ipsy bag, which was last month, and I really do love it. It's really nice. Um, my hair, as you can see, I put a lot of product in it because it can handle a lot. And then I'm just going to be taking it calm, kind of just parting my hair, and I'm not going to be brushing all the way through my hair because I do want to keep my curls throughout the day, so I just kind of brush the top, kind of tame everything down, and that's pretty much it. Just kind of scrunch in, playing with everything, and then throughout the day it should dry and then it kind of just gives a natural curl. I also do put hairspray in this in a little bit as well. But that is pretty much it for everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe as I'm still playing with my hair. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.